principe là, voilà, comme le grand lui l'envoie, c'est qui Ça passe les tues Les pipos là, voilà Ah, la danseuse Ah, you can't keep my baby You can't keep my two children, la danseuse In two days, you can't keep my two children They brought my daughter to your specialization, you don't have lights. Before you got to UBTA, my daughter is dead. My mother is dead! My mother is dead! Oh! Yay! Yeah. I'm just dead! Ah. What the fuck is going on in this country? In any way, we have never seen any war where everybody put like one side. Those are the detractors, they should not, they should not be detracted. People who own the town are with him. He's doing well. When the ring bell ring, he will know who owns the town, who owns the town. That's all. Now, how would you describe your meeting with His Excellency? That shouldn't that should bother him at all. I told you, it shouldn't bother him. So much infrastructure, people are trying to cut their relationship. I'm very happy to be here. As I told you, I'm not happy here. My son was here. He you know what? When the other businesses were there, it's my first time in Congress. what I am hospital. What the fuck is going on in this country? My daughter! I love my son, my newborn baby, three days ago. I lost my daughter again today. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? To come back for the second time. I said, 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 those are the detractors, they should not be, do not be detracted. People who own the town are with him. He's doing well. When the ring bell ring, he will know who owns the town, who owns the town, that's all. Now, how would you describe your meeting with his excellency? That shouldn't that should bother him at all. I told him, it shouldn't bother him. So much infrastructure, people are trying to cut their relationship. I'm very happy to be here. As I told him, I'm not happy here. When my son was here, and the other people, the other princesses were there. It's my first time of coming this. Our friend, nobody will come and here. Yes, thank you. Thank it you very much. Don't happen. Thank you. He's doing well. Everybody yeah. should praise him. Yeah. And call him not to distract him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As a governor, a governor in the Edo state, if you can see our state now is changed. Both tiring, school, hospital, water, light. I decided to come here today, but nobody forced me here. I said I should my greeting for the work he's doing in the Edo state. That is the reason all the open issues support him. That is the reason everybody to support him, to come back for the second term. I will do, myself, as chief of Samedi Aru, I will do him for the second time. Well, uh, you can fly away and fly back. <laughs> <laughs> I fly away and fly back. I came back to my house. I'm a member of APC. Adam Oshomone left a whopping sum of 45 billion in debt to the states. But in less than three years, he has already borrowed a hundred billion. So what I'm saying here is that let me explain to Ross how this money was spent. Let me also explain to Ross the 45 billion he inherited from Madame Oshomole, how that money was also spent. We have the right to know. For 
Following the public disclosure by Debt Management Office in April 2019, that Edo State foreign debt portfolio stands at $276.25 million, second to Lagos State with a debt of $1.43 billion. A human rights activist, Carmen Patrick Iholo, has asked Governor Gordon Obaseki to account for the expended borrowed monies. He also described as fraud the abandoned five-star central hospital and the alleged abandonment of stormwater projects by Governor Obaseki's predecessor in office. If we borrowed money, what are the interest rates? Don't forget that this borrow is being borrowed on the detriment of our children, if not judicially spent where. I am still in court with the previous administration over the water storm project when 30 billion were borrowed and he was he was the economy team management then he also had to explain to us how that 30 million was borrowed Comrade Ehalo alleged that the rehabilitation of networks of roads done by the state government cannot justify the huge debt it borrowed from the World Bank. He alleged that his finding indicated that most of the inner city roads in Benin City and other parts of the state are funded through World Bank assisted projects and NDDC and wondered what the state has done with all the funds borrowed. The human rights activist Patrick Ehalo, who though commended the ongoing training of primary school teachers in the State. However, questioned the amount allegedly spent by the state government per teacher. Since the session of Obasekina, four schools have been permanently shut down. And these schools were built by Samuel Ugbemo, Ugbemo there then. And these are very important institutions to us. So I don't really know the area that he's performing. So if he has borrowed 100 million, that is show us where he has borrowed the money. We have not seen all these things. And don't also forget that his predecessor, Adams Oshomole, state and deceive us with central hospital today do you know how many lives have been lost do you know how many doctors we have lost that is going to abroad because there's no place to work so if this is really government that you call them wake, wake, wake up and see go, governor why is he not funding that hospital is it not for his benefit of the citizen? The human rights activist, comrade Patrick Ehalo, has vowed to sue the state government to explain to adult people how the borrowed funds were spent. Rosling Evorame reporting. Summit of implementation of policy which have been adopted by institution. Final planning, policy, recommendation, decision and order. This include contracts. Briefing newsmen in Benin, the human rights activist and President One Law Foundation, Comrade Patrick A. Holo, armed with a copy of the Freedom of Information Act, said as a citizen he has the power and rights to demand for answers to all allegations on execution of projects in the state. Comrade Hollow said Edo people deserve to know the procedures and manner at which all contracts in the state have been awarded and executed by the state government. That is exporting a job to Sapler, Wari, Bayasa, Lagos. Some of us are in disbelief, and very many of us also believe that it is true. You know, that's for us to take away the doubts so that we can concentrate and focus, so that he can, I mean, be able to deliver the good governance that we expect from him. He alleged that contractors handling projects in the state are imported from other states and therefore urged state government to come at clean by publishing the names of contractors and the amounts the projects were awarded within seven days. If a state government is going to award contract, the contract must be published so there will be no self-interest. So I'm comparing Gondioba circuit within the next seven days to publicly give us the name of the contractors who has been working in my state, in our states. So let us know the areas they'll be working, to let us know if this contract were advertised. Responding to the demands and allegations, the State Commissioner for Communications and Orientation, Paul Uhambamu, said the State Governor, Godwin Obaseki, writes from the onset, operates open policy of awards of contracts in the state. On the seven days ultimatum given to the state government to publish names of contractors, an explanation to Edo people on how contracts have been awarded, the commissioner said comrade Patrick A. Holo is arrogating powers to himself and maintained that only court order can issue an ultimatum of such magnitude. Everything he has done, of course, he has ensured that the people are carried along. The issue of uh, contractors working, I think what should form the basis of inquiry 
is whether all the said contracts that have been, you know, uh, published to be to have been carried out, whether there are manifest structures on ground. As of Freedom Information uh, Act, which of course uh, Holo made allusion to, I must tell you that uh, you should first find out if it has been domesticated in those state. I think we need a court order to give such seven-day ultimatum. He is not the one. Deborah Ugefun reporting.